In this short video, we would like to show you how to begin working in Intuit Tax Online. Upon logging into Intuit Tax Online, you will arrive at the client list screen. This is your home base where all of your clients are listed. First, let's create a new client. Just click Add a New Client, enter the client information, and click Save. All of the information entered here will flow into subsequent returns. Now, let's go into an existing return to enter some data. To do this, simply return to the client list, highlight the client, and then select the return. We will use one of the sample returns already loaded into the application. Before we enter data, notice that the navigation is made fast and easy through the four tabs at the top of the screen. Enter data, review data, check results, and file return. Selecting the enter data tab, you will see the application's main data entry navigation on the left. The input areas are broken down by categories such as income, deductions, etc. This has been designed to follow your workflow and to speed up data entry. Simply click the area you would like to enter data. This will open all the applicable input categories to let you quickly go to the input you need. You can also jump to a form using the search functionality. Next, we will add a new form for this client. To do this, I will select Dividend Income and enter the applicable information. It is that fast. Now we will navigate to the Review Data tab. This view will allow you to quickly view all of the entries you have made and all relevant prior year fields in a single screen. Since only the applicable inputs for this return are listed, you don't have to navigate through all the different input screens to do your review. After the initial review, you will want to resolve any diagnostics for this return. We will do this from the Check Results tab. The Check Results tab will provide access to tax summaries for federal and state returns, allow you to view the applicable tax forms, and provide diagnostics to alert you to items that may need to be corrected prior to filing. To fix the issue with this return, I will click the critical diagnostic for missing date of birth. The application takes me directly to the input screen so I can quickly fix the error and save by clicking finish. It's now time to file. This is an extremely easy process. After going to the file return tab, I can see that there are no e-file errors for this return. This means I can proceed with the electronic filing by clicking e-file return now. Well that's it for our walkthrough. We hope you will give Intuit Tax Online a try today to see the additional features and capabilities available within this application. It is free to try, so why wait?